Oh, sorry. Okay. So, hi. It's Jazzy Ray here, and I'm back with a birth chart reading. Today, we are doing Merv. I hope I said your name right. Um. So, again, if you guys want your birth charts read, your life path number explained to you, everything, everything to contact me is in the description. I'll even put my email down there. I should have been doing that from the beginning. My friend was like, put your email in case people don't have social media. So I'm gonna put my email down there. Um, get it while it's free because um, probably starting next month, I'm gonna start charging. Nothing crazy though. I'm not trying to scam you guys. So get it now while it's free because when I put that video out saying I'm gonna start charging, they will no longer be free. And I will explain how I'm gonna do everything in that video, but I'll do that next month. Right now they're free. So, um, all right, so we, ooh, excuse me. Right now we have Merv. So I'm gonna show you your birth chart. Now, when I did your um, birth chart, I didn't really take any notes because your birth chart is very similar to mine. So that's why I just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it for you, okay? Um, so this is your birth chart. Your sun's in Virgo. Oh, you're a Virgo. Your moon's Cancer. Your Mercury is Libra. Your Venus is also Libra, which goes together. Your Mars is Virgo. Your ascendant is Scorpio. And then if you look over here, you have more masculine energy masculine energy than feminine i'm going to explain those to you when we get to that point now your birth chart excuse me your birth chart is going to be super easy for me to do because like i said this looks very similar to mine so without further ado let's get started so your sun's in virgo now sun means you your overall personality this is, this is who you are this is who you are girl so your sun's in Virgo. So Virgo is a feminine sign. Um, it is an earth sign. It's a mutable sign. Its quality is mutable. And you're probably like, what does that mean? Well, you have fixed, you have mutable, and you have cardinal. Fixed means you are just, you're stuck in your ways. You're not changing for anybody unless you want to change. Uh, also, it means like it's kind of like we don't really have to keep up with fixed signs. Fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. I hope I said this in another video because somebody else also had a fixed sign, but Aquarius and Scorpio. So you don't really have to really calculate their moon. Like they calculate their moves very carefully, and you kind of already know what they're gonna do. So they're not all over the place. They're pretty organized. Mutable signs are Gemini, Pisces. Virgo and Sagittarius. These people are the opposite. People with this sign, with mutable signs, are the opposite of a fixed sign. They're all over the place. They don't calculate their moves. They kind of just wing everything and you have to keep up because they're constantly changing. They're constantly changing. Okay. And cardinal signs are Aries, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer, which means action, work. They, they don't play about their, their work ethics and they do they just don't. They usually prefer to work alone. <laughs> and they're they just they're good at what they do. The best way I can describe this is say you have a school project or a paper. The, you got the first draft, the second draft, and the final draft. The first draft, what do you do with the first draft? You re, you usually just jot down things. You don't know what you're gonna do. You're constantly changing ideas. That's mutable. Okay? Then you have the second draft. You you know what you're gonna do, you know how you're gonna do it. So you write it best fix so it's like with the second draft it's like you can turn it in but you might not get a good grade so you might get a decent grade but you're not gonna get an A you might get a C now with the final draft that's cardinal sign because cardinal is like we're gonna put in that action so we can get an A on this paper so <laughs> that's the best way I can describe these qualities so I hope that kind of helps okay so back to Virgo so it's polar opposite is Pisces and polar opposite they say you're supposed to like date your polar opposite or marry your polar opposite I do not believe that because my polar is Sagittarius and I'm sorry me and Sagittarius males we do not get along dating wise so I think that's BS it could work could not work I don't know uh, its ruler is Mercury so that's the plan of communication I explained that in the last video I might have to put that in but uh 
don't know why I'm looking at this like I took notes. Okay, and if I had to pick a likable trait of Virgo, because my best friend's a Virgo. Actually, I have two friends that's th that are, three friends that are Virgos. Humble, humbleness. They are very humble. Um, they're perfectionists, which means they, they perfect their craft. Whatever it is that you're good at, even at your job, you, you're trying to perfect it. You know, Beyonce is a Virgo. Michael Jackson is a Virgo. These are prime. If you want to know what Virgos are really like, take a look at those two. Because those are Virgos. Okay? Beyonce is where she's at now because she's a perfectionist. She doesn't stop. It never stops. She's never going to stop perfecting her craft. Michael Jackson, why he was the king of pop. Same thing. So, Virgos, they are also analytical meaning they analyze everything about people about situations they pay attention to detail so virgo is kind of like the type of person if they see one thing one thing wrong in their partner no cut off no 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 they're not giving you any chances no that's just how it is because virgo wants the perfect lover all right I guess the downside to being a Virgo, Virgos can be sensitive. Virgos can be sensitive um, because they're perfectionists. You know, don't make fun of their craft. And not saying, you know, and, and the thing with Virgo is Virgo can be passive at times, but don't get it twisted. They will come at your neck if they have to. They will definitely attack when they feel attacked. These are the type of people, it's like you really got to like make them angry for them to like yell and want to put their hands on you. You know, but Virgos are pretty chill, pretty cool. Actually, people, when I look at like stuff about Virgo, people usually have nothing but good things to say about Virgos, and that kind of makes me angry because they hate on Gemini's. But people love Virgos, and I love Virgos, so you know, y'all got Virgos got good reputation. I love Virgos, I really do. They're so they're so cool. I love Virgos. So your moon is Cancer. Cancer is your emotion. And the thing about it is this actually works out because Cancer's ruler is Moon. Cancer's ruler is Moon. Cancer is a feminine sign as well. It's a water sign. Okay. Uh, it's a cardinal sign. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's polar opposite is Capricorn. And it's I said the ruler is the Moon. If I had to um, pick a trait about Cancer. Caring. Karen, um, cancers, I used to hate on cancers because cancers do have a way of being emotional, which is why I said this works because that's what moon represents. But cancers are like the most, when I did my research on cancers, cancers are really the most loving people you can ever have in your life. Like cancers, they are nurturing, they're sensitive, they're loving, they care about their loved ones. And cancers, or the type of people that will kill for you because they love you you have to do something really messed up to a cancer or somebody who has cancer in their chart to really have a cancer so you know what f you and i'm done because cancers care a lot cancers care a lot the downside to being a cancer is they can be manipulative though they can be manipulative um, they're, they're, they're not really, this is like actually a good thing, but some people may look at this as a bad thing because cancers have a reputation of being weak and cancers are not really weak. They're peaceful. Like I said, cancers will like, err if they have to, but cancers love peace. They love, they don't like to fight. Cancers are lovers. They're not fighters. They hate fighting. Not saying cancers don't fight, but they're, they, they don't like that. They like peace. They don't really like to argue. They love everyone. They want everyone to love them. You know, like they, they're loving people. Leave cancers alone. I, I have to stop hating on cancers. Like leave cancers alone. And you have, a, you have it in your moon sign. So I can tell you're really a caring person and you're very nurturing, you know, when it comes to the people that you care about. So let's go to your Mercury. Now Mercury is how we communicate. Your Mercury is Libra. So Libra is an air sign. It's a masculine sign. Okay, uh, it is a cardinal sign as well, okay. Uh, its opposite is Aries. And I said the opposite is Aries. Okay, so if I had to pick, it, it, oh, and your ruler is um, Venus. Plan of love. 
So, if I had to pick a trait about Libra, charming. So I can probably tell when you communicate, you're a charmer. You're a sweet talker and you know how to get what you want. Libras are all about balance. They're all about keeping those weights balanced, keeping everything balanced, even conversations. Um, Libras, they like to have deep convos. I mean, air signs in general love deep convos. Um, they just, they just charming. Like everything that Libra says, it's like, say it again because you just sound so sexy when you say it. <laughs> and I can probably tell just by your, just by you, you actually have, you probably have a lot of Libra. You have a lot of Libra in your chart. Um, so I could probably tell people find you attractive and your personality, your charm, you, you're very charming. So people finally find that very attractive. Now, Libras are also peaceful. Don't get it twisted. They come at you if they have to, but they're very peaceful. They believe in peace. They are the mediators. You're probably the voice of reason. Like if you have a group of friends, I can probably tell you're the voice of reason. People come to you because mediators, what do they do? They see both points of view and they kind of take those together and then make, you know, at least try to help people to get along and respect everyone's point of view. So you're probably the type of person that's like, okay, I see your point, I see what you're saying, but I also see your point as well. So people probably come to you for advice and things like that and how to get along and things like that. Now the downside to being a Libra, Libras all are all the air signs, very sensitive. Um, Libras take everything to the heart so even if you're not like if someone's not insulting you you're probably feeling some type of way because it's like wow it's not necessarily what you say to a Libra it's how you say it to a Libra so if you come at a Libra like in a rude type of way or in a sarcastic type of way Libras are like wow you did not have to say it like that you could have just told me in a nicer way like you're putting me down right now that's how Libra is very sensitive but they want balance they want people to be nice you know they're like the opposite of Gemini and Aquarius <laughs> um, so your Venus is also Libra which I'll just explain how Libras are in love um, Venus is how we love and how, how we want to be love and attraction and this works because I said that's Venus's ruler so I'm not gonna go through feminist I just repeated that so I'm not gonna repeat it again um, so this is how Libras are in love okay Libras want a partner who's charming flirtatious not flirtatious but good good at flirting uh, Libras they want a partner who's balanced emotions you know they, they believe in peace and tranquility you know they're not aggressive and things like that so that's how they want to be treated and, and when it comes to that bedroom they want somebody who's willing to like like I said, they're smooth talkers and they are like the most sensible lovers you can ever meet. They're great at what they do. At least some of them are. My ex was a Libra. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. They want a partner that's just like them, you know, just like them. They don't want they don't they want someone who's like great at communicating, like in a healthy way, not in a mean, bashful way. Because like I said, Libras are sensitive. So let's get to your Mars, which is also Virgo. Again, I'm not repeating that. Mars, when you look at relationships, you want to look at like how you are in a relationship. Sun, Venus, Mars, because Venus is what we want, and Mars is how we get it. It's your drive. So your your work ethic, your anger, and your sex. That's what Mars represents, and um, its ruler is Aries. So yeah. So Virgo. So I could tell. You want a lover that's just as perfect as you. They analyze everything. Very smart, great communicator, this and that. Now, when it comes to their work ethic, I kind of already explained to you a Virgo's work ethic. They're perfectionists. They, 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 they work. They work to perfect their craft. It's what they do. Um, their anger, I kind of already explained that too. They're not really aggressive. They can be. They're mostly passive. But if you like push a Virgo's buttons, they will get aggressive and probably knock you out. So that's just they probably fight you. Um, when it comes to sex, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, Virgos are people pleasers during sex. So, they're not the type of people to be very... I mean, if, if it's like Virgos want what you want. So, it's like if your partner wants you to be aggressive, then you'll become aggressive because that's what your partner wants. 
if you want a part like if your partner wants you to be soft and, and, and things like that Virgo is gonna be that because that's what Virgo is gonna please you um, Virgos ask questions during sex like do you like that how does that feel is it good why because they're trying to perfect that they want to know how to please you so you're the type of person who probably always asks do you like that do you like that how about this do you like that because you want your partner to be satisfied it satisfies you it gets you off to know that you're getting your partner off and you're being and you're good at doing that you're trying to perfect that so all right we got that out the way so now your ascendant is scorpio so scorpio is a feminine sign uh its polarity is taurus its element is water okay uh they are a fixed sign so you are a virgo who kind of is all over the place but at the same time you kind of know what you want out of life you just don't know how to get there so <laughs> possibly that may not be you but that's like the best way i could put it because your ascendant is how you express yourself so um or was I, I said it's a fixed sign okay so it's I said Taurus is polar um it's element it actually has not elements it's planets it actually has two planets it's Mars and it's Pluto Scorpio is the only planet that has two planets Pluto is like the planet of the dark it's like your dark side and Scorpio has that reputation of being dark so and I already kind of explained your Mars so uh and if I had to pick a trait with Scorpio, emotional, emotional. Scorpios, every they, they they don't open up to everyone because Scorpios can tend to have trust issues at times. They don't really open up to everyone. They tend to stay quiet until they you earn somebody earns your trust, okay? And then they'll express how they really are. Scorpios have a bad reputation. Of being very promiscuous they will sleep with anybody they're crazy and the, the biggest misconception of Scorpio is they don't do that to everybody Scorpio pick and chooses you have you have to earn a Scorpio's trust in order to do all that so what the hell are the neighbors doing anyway distracted so Scorpio not saying Scorpio can't be promiscuous anybody can but Scorpio is not going to just sleep with anybody. You have to earn their trust. And when they have sex with someone, they there is a big emotional attachment to that. So Scorpios expect a relationship after that. Like like if they have if they, if a Scorpio has sex with you, they love you. They are in love with you, and you better be in love with them. <laughs> That's how it is. Scorpios are good people until you cross them. They're loving people until you cross them. If you cross them, Scorpio believes in revenge. So Scorpio is going to do everything they can to get you back. And then after that, it's like they're over it and they're good. So, you're probably a, I would say, you are a Virgo with a dark side. But it's not bad. You appreciate the dark side. It's what makes you stronger. So... Sorry about that, the camera went off, but I was just talking about your masculine and your feminine. So I'm going to explain this to you. So your masculine is seven. Your feminine is three. So according to this, now just because you have more masculine energy, does that does not make you, like, that doesn't mean you want to be a, a man, okay? Um, and you have, just because your feminine is low, your feminine energy is low, doesn't make you less of a woman. And the same thing for men, vice versa. So you're probably a person who's very active if you are working it's probably a job that requires you to move around a lot you're not sitting down all day and if you are sitting down all day you don't like it you hate it you want to be moving around talking to people um you probably have a point maybe you have a bit of a, of a little bit of aggression actually a lot of aggression because your masculine is high but that's okay it's not bad because sometimes you have to be aggressive or assertive or assertive there's a difference between the two so you probably know how to stand up for yourself you know you're, you're not you don't let people push you around and things like that um you have your your feminine energy is low but doesn't mean that you're not a caring person you're a loving person it's probably what makes you aggressive because you care you are nurturing you, you go hard for people that you care about and because you care about yourself you tend to take that and you stand up for yourself you know so 
you know and feminine you're not you know you're not physical you're not you, you prefer to not be physical okay um but your your masculine is high so I could you know I could probably tell that you're probably an active person so the goal of your math like to like with masculine energy and feminine energy the goal is you want to have those energies balanced and if you don't have a balance like some people are just naturally balanced they can like balance the two and some people you got to work at it and it's okay this is not a bad thing at all it's just you now you know what you need to work on it just gives you an idea so Merv I hope this resonates with you I told you I was gonna do a video or do a um reading for you and I did it as promised so now you can tell your friends there's this girl her name is Jazzy Ray or, or Jasmine that's like my legal name um, she does readings for free right now get your readings while they're free and when I do start charging it will be nothing crazy nothing anyone cannot afford so yeah so that's pretty much it if you guys want readings everything to contact me is down in the description please subscribe to my channel we're almost at 100 subscribers it's been a long time coming I've had my channel for three years now and I'm just now almost at 100 so we're trying to get to 100 so I'll see you guys when I see you guys bye